This has been another open source live code hangout. Uh, in today's session, we tried the Escoria framework for the Godot engine. Managed to work through the introduction, introductory tutorial, setting up a basic Godot project, installing the Escoria add-ons, and creating a character was an initial room for that character to explore. On running the code, the uh, console displays several errors. Um, I'm not sure the source of a lot of these. The input map should possibly be defined by the uh, Escoria plugin, uh, UI plugin. Um, this error was this speak animation was mentioned in the documentation as being optional, but it's throwing an error now, so that might need to be updated. Long short of it, the um, I was not able to complete the tutorial successfully. I, I could, I'm probably uh, overlooking something. Uh, I thought I had followed uh, all the steps, so that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, overall, I'm thinking we're probably not going to use the Escorio framework at this stage, firstly, because it's uh, marked as alpha. Uh, I think they're waiting for the 4.0 launch. Secondly, uh, because I can't complete the tutorial. So I can't even get a feel for it. But as, the, uh, as far as I did get into the tutorial, uh, uh, the UI loads, this menu loads, and uh, it's just a reminder, this is a mouse-oriented um, plugin, this UI plugin and we would like a touch oriented interface so that might, that might not be a good fit. Escoria would probably do a lot of the heavy lifting for us such as um, causing the player to shrink as they walk away from the camera, uh, helping us define walkable areas. Um, but my another kind of all red flag I would say is that uh, in order to develop Escoria you use a uh, they have their own scripting language, uh, which is sort of simplified and oriented specifically to um, these interactive uh, adventure games. If I can see the rationale, and in fact, when I've looked at other um, good old plugins, for example, for defining dialogues, they have a similar syntax. I just think it's a bit of a, uh, I'd rather use GD script to do a, several of the things that were uh, kind of tedious in the tutorial uh, through UI, as well as uh, maybe using GD script for, well, just in general for everything, except maybe dialogue, where there is just a more natural way of expressing those dialogues and checking for conditions like having a variable set or an item in the inventory. So yeah, it was a basically a dead end so far on the uh, Scoria framework. I might come back to it in another session, give it a shot after Godot 4 releases and the Scoria project releases their beta or stable <laughs> uh, version 4. Okay, well, Imperium42, thanks for stopping by the chat. It's good to see familiar faces. Andre Ray, thanks for stopping by and... Uh, adding a few comments about game development and I hope you do well and are able to make some time for your own game development journey. This has been another Live Code Hangout and if you'd like to get involved with this project, we're at the early alpha stage, but we do have some uh, we have a GitHub organization. You can stop by github.com slash open learning quest. Right now we're split. It's completely ideas and, and initial experiments. Uh, we're doing a lot of paper and pencil work and story writing and drawing and things like that uh, so that we don't commit ourselves too early um, in the adventure. We're learning. It's a learning adventure for to create an open source learning game. So yeah, if you'd like to get involved, you can stop by our organization the game is here. You can join the discussion if you've got some ideas. The overall goal is to design an educational adventure game where 
players relate to in-game um, characters who have an adventure in the uh, town, small town perhaps, and encounter obstacles that need to be solved or overcome through basic knowledge of maths and physics that you can pick up in the game, such as by going to the in-game library or school. It's very hypothetical right now, and there's a forthcoming uh, game design document that will go into more details. All right. Well, I thank you very much for your time.